Hi everybody, happy Monday. Today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. And today we are going to start our circle time by reading a story. And then we are going to work on beginning sounds for letters B, S, M, C, R, and F. And then we are going to look at a photo activity card of shapes. And you guys will get a chance to pause the video and go on a scavenger hunt around your house for different shapes. And then we're going to do a craft using a self-portrait, and then we're going to label the body parts on our face. And then to end, we are going to do a journal, and you guys are going to write down what you did this weekend, and then you're going to draw a picture. Okay? So let's get started with our story for today. And our story today is called Franklin and the Thunderstorm. Do you guys remember where the title of the story usually is? You're right. It's always at the very top. And this book tricked you with the author because there isn't an author down here. They put the author and the illustrator right under the title. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could name the months of the year and all of the seasons. He could read the thermometer. He checked the barometer every day. Franklin worried about the weather because he was afraid of storms. Is anybody else afraid of storms, especially when they're a little loud and there's thunder and lightning? Those can be a little scary. One day, Franklin was supposed to play at Fox's house, but the sky was getting dark and the clouds were getting thick. Maybe I shouldn't go, Franklin said to his mother. She looked out the window. It probably won't, won't rain until later, she said. You have time to get to Fox's. Franklin put on his boots and took his umbrella. As Franklin hurried to Fox's house, he kept looking at the sky. The clouds moved quickly, and the wind swirled dirt in the air. Franklin felt all jumpy inside. This is kind of what it looks like when it's about to thunderstorm outside. The clouds get really dark and the sky gets really dark. Fox was playing outside when Franklin arrived. Franklin pointed nervously to the sky. I think we should go inside, don't you? He asked. Not yet, Fox grinned. I love watching the clouds move and feeling the wind blow. It is exciting. I think it's scary, said Franklin. Which one are you? Are you like Franklin and you're more scared? Or you are like Fox and you think it's kind of cool to watch the weather? Beaver, Snail, and Hawk came over to play too. My fur feels funny when it's about to storm, said Fox. My feather feathers get all ruffled, said Hawk. Beaver sniffed. <laughs> I can smell a storm coming. The wind became stronger. Hawk flew loop the loops. Whee! he cried. Franklin held onto his hat and shivered. It was almost as dark as night when the big fat raindrops began to drop. We should go in, shouted Franklin. No, said Fox. Follow me. Sometimes it's fun to play in the rain, but not if it's thundering and lightning. That's a little dangerous because you could get struck by lightning. They raced to the treehouse where it was dry. Fox, called his mother, time for everyone to come in. It's all right, Fox shouted back. We're in the tree. Fox's mother was there in a second. It's dangerous to be near a tree during a storm, she said. Lightning strikes tall things first and you might get hurt. So it's not a good idea for them to go in the tree. Franklin held on to Fox's mother all the way from the tree to the house. They were barely in the door when there was a flash of zigzag lightning. Lightning, shrieked Franklin. He trembled. Kaboom! Thunder, he screamed. Franklin's getting a little scared. It's okay, Franklin, said his friends. We're safe here. But Franklin had caught deep inside his shell. Fox's mother brought treats. Still, Franklin wouldn't come out. Franklin's friends begged him to play, but Franklin stayed put. 
Do you guys see where Franklin's hiding? Remember, Franklin's a turtle. And do you see him hiding anywhere? Oh, look, he's right here. He's inside his shell. Because when turtles are scared, they pop their heads inside so they can't see anything. Then, with a flash and a crash, the lights went out. Don't worry, said Fox's mother. She lit candles and turned on a flashlight. Won't you come out now? She asked Franklin. No, thank you, he mumbled. And you can see Franklin's little feet right there. And there's a snail sitting on top of him. Don't be afraid, said Hawk. All that noise is just giant clouds playing drums in the sky. Franklin peeked out. Really, he asked. No, it's not, giggled Snail. That noise is made when the giants go bowling. You guys see those crazy clouds? Franklin came out of his shell. But what about the lightning? That's easy, said Hawk. The giant clouds are turning their lights on and off. Fox smiled. I think it's the giants swinging from their chandeliers. Franklin laughed. Giants? That's ridiculous, said Beaver. Mr. Owl says lightnings is a dark spark of electricity that travels from the sky to the ground. The spark is so hot that it makes the air around it pop. That's the sound of thunder. Amazing, said Franklin. Franklin felt a little better. He even played flashlight tag with his friends. Soon there was hardly any lightning. The thunder was a little a low rumble from far away, and the rain stopped. Then the lights turned on. Storm's over, said Fox. Let's go outside and play. Look, said Franklin, a rainbow. Do you guys remember how we get a rainbow? You get a rainbow when it's sunny and it's raining. I know why the storm is over, Franklin said. Those giants heard there's a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow, and they have gone to find it. Even Beaver had to smile. The end. And that was a good story, friends. All right, so now we are going to work on our beginning letter sounds because I am hoping by the end of this month we'll be able to work on some of our sight words. But it's a little hard to work on sight words if we don't know how to sound out letters. So we're going to start with just doing the beginning letters. So we're just going to look at a word and I'm going to draw a box around the first letter. Okay. So our first letter is the letter B and I'm going to do B for bat. And if you guys want to, you can write this on your piece of paper too to help you. And remember, during our video, at any time, you can pause the video so you can copy. So this says the word bat, and it has the letters B, A, T in it. So I want you guys to take your marker, and I want you to draw a box around our first beginning sound. Because that's the only sound that we're going to focus on today. So our first letter in the word bat is B. You're right. So the letter B makes the B, B, B sound. So when you're sounding out the word bat, you want to make sure you're going B, 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 bat. Okay? And so as we go through the month, we're going to do the beginning sound, the middle sound, and the ending sound. So when we get to the last week, you'll be able to hopefully sound out this word all by yourself. And maybe you'll even recognize it. Now, our next letter is the letter S. And I am going to do S for snow. So here is our word snow. And we need to put a box around our beginning letter. The beginning letter is always first. So there's our box around our beginning letter. And let's spell snow together just to help with our letter recognition. Snow is spelled S-N-O-W. And what do you guys think is our beginning letter sound for the letter S? 
you're right. It makes the sound like in snow. Good job. Our next letter is the letter M. And I'm going to do the letter M for mommy. So here is our word mommy. And mommy is spelled M-O-M-M-Y. And our beginning letter is right here. It is the letter M. You are correct. And what sound does the letter M make for our beginning sound in the word mommy? You're right. It makes the M mm sound. You put your lips together and go mmm. Mm, 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 mommy. Good job, everybody. Our next letter we're going to do is the letter C. And for the letter C, I'm going to write the word cat. And just like our first word for B for bat, cat and bat rhyme because they have the same ending sounds, if you guys remember. So here is our word cat, and cat is spelled C-A-T. And let's go ahead and put a box around our beginning letter just to help us remember what letter we're looking at. And the letter in the box is the letter C, and C makes a ca 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 sound, like in cat. Can everybody repeat the letter C sound? Good job. It makes a ca, ca, ca sound. Now, our next letter is the letter R. And I'm going to do another word that rhymes with bat and cat. Do you guys think you have an idea of what it could be of a word that starts with the letter R and rhymes with cat and bat? You're right. It's the word rat. See, and they still have the same ending sounds, A and T. And rat is spelled R-A-T. And let's go ahead and put a box around our beginning letter, which is the letter R. And R makes the sound r r r. Can everybody try that? Good job. So the letter R makes the sound r, r, r for rat. Awesome. And our last letter that we're going to look at today is the letter F. And letter F is for fish. And here's the F word, fish. And fish is spelled F-I-S-H. And let's put a box around our beginning letter that we're focusing on. Our beginning letter sound is f f f, f just like f f fish. Good job, friends. And if you had any trouble with these, you can feel free to rewind the video so you can get a little extra practice. And as we go through the week, we're going to try some different letter sounds so we can continue. All right. Next, we are going to look at our activity card. And you guys love doing this during circle time because it's so interactive. But since we're not at school and we can't pick out shapes from school, I want you guys to take a look at our shape of the day. And our shape today is a triangle. So what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video and I want you to go find five things that are in the shape of a triangle. And then when you come back, we're going to go through our activity card and we're going to count how many triangles we see together. Okay, so go and find five triangles in your house. Welcome back, guys. Did you find some triangles? I hope you found some. Hopefully you found five, but if not, it's OK. And if you found more, great job. So this is the shape of a triangle and you can see triangles on the butterfly and on this little girl's birthday cake all around and then some cutout triangles. You guys see 
and then some triangles on the monster's teeth. And how many sides does a triangle have? If we look really closely at this triangle down here, let's count it together. So the triangle has one, two, three sides. Good job. And now let's count the points of the triangle. The points have one, two, three points. So you can remember when you're drawing a triangle, it will look like this. So on this side, you would draw a long line at the bottom, just like this. And you know when you guys draw your houses, you make a triangle for the roof. And then you make a diagonal line this way, and then a diagonal line that way. And there's your triangle. Let me fix this line. It's a little curvy. There you go. That's a little better. So here's our triangle, and it has... One, two, three sides to it. And every shape has a side except for a circle. So let's get back to our photo activity card and see what we're going to do. Let's see how many things in this photo have triangles. And let's count them together. Let's start by just counting the triangles on the little girl's costume. It must be this little girl's birthday and she is dressed up like a butterfly. So let's work together and count all the triangles on this little girl's butterfly costume. We have one, two, three, four, five. There's a hidden one right here. And that's number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And can you guys see one more that's missing on her costume? We counted them all on the wings, but there's one more that's missing somewhere. Do you guys see it? It's hiding. Good job. It's right here. There's a triangle. Now, let's count the shapes on her birthday cake. Not on the bottom part, down here, just on the cake, okay? So let's see. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, everybody. And what shape are the napkins? These must be the napkins at the girl's house. Do you guys see them down here? I'm gonna try to hold it up so there's not so much of a glare. You're right, those are triangle napkins. And how many triangle napkins does our birthday girl have? Can you see right there in that picture? You're right, she has two birthday napkins. Do you guys know how to fold a napkin into a triangle? I want you guys to go grab a napkin from your house and see if you can make a triangle napkin just like this little girl's triangle napkin. So you guys can pause the video again and go grab that napkin and come right back. Wow, I love your guys' triangle napkins. They look pretty close to this girl's triangle napkins. What do you guys think is this girl's favorite shape? You're right, I think it's triangles because she has triangles all over the place. And when you guys are having fun today at home, you can do so many things with triangles. When you're eating your snack, especially if you're eating pretzels, you can take turns making triangles out of the pretzel sticks. Or you could use cheese cubes for the pretzel sticks, with the pretzel sticks to make triangles. Or you could use goldfish and make a triangle train of goldfish. Anything you want would make trying would make a triangle. All right, you guys did a good job with our triangle. Next, we are going to do a craft. You guys are going to do it at home and I'm just going to draw it on my paper, on my board. And you guys can either draw it if you want or you can get different supplies. We're going to make a self-portrait of ourselves because this week we're learning all about ourselves. And what better way to start than learning about ourselves? So 
If you need help, you can get a mirror to look at yourself. Or maybe even in the camera, I'm not sure, but you might be able to see yourself. And you want to get something for your hair. So like Miss Candace would maybe use some brown yarn. And then you need something for your eyebrows. And that could be yarn again. Or you could use a pencil or a marker. And then you need something for your eyes and your eyelashes. And something for your nose and for your lips. And don't forget your ears because they're, sometimes they're hiding. So I want everyone to pause the video and while I'm drawing my self-portrait, my very best, I want everybody to either go get some supplies that they think they could use to make a self-portrait, or I just want you to grab some paper and you can use markers and crowns and color pencils to draw yourself, okay? So I will meet you back here when you guys are all done so we can show each other, okay? All right, let me see your guys' self-portraits that you made. Wow, you guys did such a good job on your self-portraits. I would love if you guys would bring them to school when we come back and we can hang them up in the classroom so we can show everybody how well you guys do at recognizing yourself. So I drew my picture, and you guys know Miss Candace is not a very good drawler. But now I want you guys to label our parts of our head and our face and all the facial features that you see. So let's start by looking in our mirror. And what is this stuff that's on the top of your head? Some of my girls, you have really long hair and some of my boys, you have shorter hair. You're right, I gave it away, it is hair. So I want you to draw a line just like this from wherever you put your hair. And I want you to write the word hair. But instead of you copying my word, I want you guys to listen to the letters that I'm saying and write them down. So the first letter is the letter H. H makes the ha 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 sound. That's a beginning letter. And then our next letter is the letter A. And then you have the letter I. And then is the letter R. And that spells the word hair. Good job, everybody. Next, I want you guys to find your head. And I want you to find your head and make a line. And it could be anywhere because your head is nice and round. I chose to make a line at the very top. And just like with hair, I'm going to spell the word and I want you guys to listen for the letters. So our beginning letter and beginning sound is another H. And H makes the ha ha sound for head. So we have H and then E and then A and D. Good job everybody. So now we have head and hair. And next on our body, why don't we do our ears? Some of you guys may have your ears hidden behind your hair and that's okay. Just draw a line from wherever you remember putting your ears. And Ears start with the le beginning letter E, and E makes the E, E, E sound for ears. Ears is spelled E, A, R. And there's ear. Next, let's go on to our eyelashes. And I want you to draw your line from your eyelashes all the way out. Just like this, you see how I have a long line all the way out? Just so you have enough writing space. And eyelashes is a long word. So remember when we have a long word, we wanna write a little bit smaller so it all fits. Eyelashes start with the same letter as ears. It starts with the letter E and makes the eh, eh, eh sound. So eyelashes is spelled E, Y, <clears throat> E, L, 
A S H. And there we have eyelash. Next, since we're already by the eyes, let's do our eyes next. So draw your line from your eye all the way out where you have enough space to write the word I. Okay, so I drew mine way down here because there's a lot of room here. Eyes also start with E and make the eh, eh, eh sound for eyes. So listen carefully for your letters to write. Your letters are E, Y, E. That's a pretty short word, just like that. Next, let's keep moving down her face. And we have a nose. So let's draw our line from our nose all the way out to where there's lots of room. And nose starts with the letter N and makes the N, N, N sound for nose. So here's your letters to write. You have N, O, S, E. There we go. There's nose. And our last part on our face is our mouth. So this one is probably easiest to draw a line from her mouth all the way down to below her chin. And we're going to write right here. So mouth starts with a m, m, m sound. And that was one of our beginning sounds that we learned today. Do you guys remember what sound makes m, 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 mouth? Good job. It starts with the letter M. So the letters you need to write are M, O, U, T, H. And there is our head. And it shows all our body parts. You guys did a great job listening and a great job doing your craft. And then a great job labeling. Wonderful job, friends. All right. Now, before we finish up our circle, I want you guys to think back to what you did this weekend. Maybe you spent time with your family, or maybe you went outside, or maybe you played with mommy and daddy and you guys played a game. Maybe you played with brother and sister. Maybe you spent some time coloring or watching TV or riding on your bike. So at the top of your paper, I want you to write this and I will put it up so you guys can copy it and then mommy and daddy will help you with the rest by sounding out the words. And it's going to say this weekend I and then it is your job to fill in the rest of the sentence. And of course, you want to always draw a picture, just like in a story. So it says, this weekend, I. And here's the space that you guys are going to write in. And on your paper, if it helps, you can draw these lines so you stay in a nice, neat line. So in mine, I would write, this weekend, I hung out with my family. And we played outside in the nice weather. And then I would draw a nice, pretty picture to go along with it. And if you guys remember, it would be so nice to bring these in, your journal entries that we do, back to school so I can put them in your journals. So there's not so many missing pages since we haven't been at school. And that is the conclusion of our circle time. I hope you guys had lots of fun and I hope you have a good evening and spend lots of fun time with your family. And I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday circle time. Have fun, guys.